Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It is me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to another episode of the Liverpool career mode. In the last episode, we have been talking about this formation situation. Everyone has been saying that we need to change it. So thank you guys so much for telling me that you also do not enjoy the formation we are using right now. And also a lot of people were saying that our group is quite good in the Champions League, but it's like every team is on the same level. So we do have a chance to get in there and get into the next round of the Champions League. In the last episode, we only had two draws and one loss. So that was terrible. But this is our starting lineup for the next match. Pereira plays in the center midfield position. Milner on the right hand side. On the left hand side we'll have Konoplyanka in Cam Coutinho striking position. Sturridge and Benteke. So I was looking forward to go ahead and see these two players perform well. Obviously Benteke in the last episode same with storage they were just not performing so in this one i was excited i knew that this formation should be making us better the team is basically the same i know pereira is not a center defensive midfielder but i wanted to give him a chance if he doesn't perform in that position we'll just put henderson in there and he'll do his job so that might be the comeback of henderson pereira can basically play anywhere so he will have a spot in this team no matter what happens coutinho starts off with a good shot 23rd minute but they got injured at least that is a good thing for our team. We did not score, but an injury is good enough for me. Conor Pianka with a decent tackle, but the referee just decides, hey, you know what, I'll give a free kick for that one. I don't know why, but that was just a normal tackle from Conor Pianka that the opponent didn't even fall down. And now they are in front of us 1-0 at our home ground I could not believe that that was a free kick and this guy looks really weird I mean his legs and everything he just looks too skinny what happened to Anderson Taliska I seriously don't know if that is the way he looks in real life because if he does look like that he needs to eat some more but right here you can see we are in the 37th minute Coutinho getting past three players or something now he will have the space to cross it in and we do hit the post with James Milner trying to score the equalizer but at this point I was really sad I wanted to get that draw at least a draw would be important to start off into the group with one point so let's see what we can do Daniel Sturridge with a pass to Pereira he has now moved up into the attack passing it to Sturridge again Sturridge looking for Milner Milner with a long shot attempt it does land in front of Sturridge but so far our strikers have not been performing so I had to make some changes Origi, Ings and uh, Firmino joining in Origi and Ings now in the striking position so hopefully these two guys can make something happen Milner with a pass to Origi he is now on the wings pass it over to our right back Nathaniel Klein passing it to Roberto Firmino he does not really have too much space around him pass it over to Nathaniel Klein this is an opportunity for him to score and get the equalizer what a strike from our right back very unexpected and he was in a good position to take that one but what a strike that is to get the equalizer against Benfica at least now we will have one point if they don't score on this one 90th minute Salvio and Horn does get to it terrible defending on my part I was just nervous I didn't know what to do but uh, luckily we were holding on to the draw but there's a corner kick coming in after that lands in the hands of our goalkeeper the referee blows the whistle and that is one point in our home ground against Benfica okay at least we didn't lose it but I would have loved to get a better result in so talking about better results we are currently in the 10th spot of the BPL and that is something I do not want to see I want to move up the ranks as fast as possible and in the last match Origi actually performed quite well Konoplyanka currently is not really on top form so I wanted to give the chance to Origi because some of your assistant coaches have said he's actually the biggest talent in our team and he could be one of the most important players in the future so he will get some playing time against Manchester City and Manchester City currently is in the 13th spot they were close to winning the league last season and they have had a worse start into this season than us so Daniel Sturridge and Benteke up front again Daniel Sturridge on the right hand side will cross it in to Benteke he gets to it finally he scores his first goal of the BPL season we have been waiting for this one 
for a long ass time. Honestly, I wanted him to score and that is the partnership I wanted to see. Daniel Sturridge with the assist for Ben Teke. And that is a great start into this big, big match. I know they are only in the 13th spot, but there's a big shot coming in from James Milner against his former team could have been an amazing free kick goal but in the end it only turned out to be a dangerous shot Ben Teke now through he does have some space but he does cut back inside pass it over to Coutinho Coutinho to Pereira Pereira looking for the spot to take the shot in but that is a good save from the goalkeeper Caballero getting to it Pereira right here losing the ball actually not him but I lost the ball because that just looked terrible but there was a chance for Man City to take the shot uh, with uh, Yaya Torre I believe and uh, luckily they did not score but uh, that apparently was a corner kick for them so 39th minute a corner kick coming in from James Rodriguez Origi gets the header it is landing at the feet of Benteke he does get past one defender he is trying to outpace them but that will not work he will turn back look for his teammate Daniel Sturridge making the run first touch not so good the defender is catching up but it will be a goal by Daniel Sturridge the partnership has worked out again Christian Benteke this time with an even better pass than Daniel Sturridge his assist on the first goal but the defender was trying his best but Sturridge with a perfect finishing hitting it onto the post and making it 2-0 for our team that has been struggling against lower rated teams in the last episode but on this one I was concentrated and I actually can remember the last episode I recorded it really late at night so this one was recorded during daytime so maybe I was just more focused but right here you can see a big chance for Manchester City but our goalkeeper is doing a great job in getting to it 66 minutes it is Silva on the ball to Boney Silva again will pass it over to let's see no one okay he will take it on by himself but no Boney is dropping down he does get to it twice twice like I don't know what happened right there but that just looked terrible I know my defending wasn't actually that bad but somehow the CPU decided to not let me pick Klein like what the hell I don't know what happened in that position that could have been a goal that we could have prevented but it did not happen and now it was time for some changes Coutinho will be going out for Roberto Firmino Henderson will actually join in for Pereira on the left hand side we'll also make some changes Origi is going out for Markovic and let's see what we can do we are now in the defense we do get it away with Roberto Firmino Storage to Benteke Benteke looking for Storage's run he is through could he get past the defender he does stop pass it over to Benteke Benteke to Markovic Markovic smashes it into the top left corner to make it 3-1 for Liverpool against Manchester City and what a shot that is so many people have been commenting do not take shots with Markovic but in that position I just had to and what a strike that was that might have been a lucky one but that was a goal that we needed for the confidence of Markovic but there is another big chance Storage tries to make it 4-1 for Liverpool but it did not happen the 88th minute but we do get a throw in Klein on the ball look for James Milner James Milner has a good cross he will cross it into Benteke and that's 4-1 but somehow it shows Milner so we have only gotten an own goal on that one sadly Benteke was robbed a goal I thought he actually got to it so I don't really understand why that was an own goal or was counted as an own goal that truly sucks but let's not be too picky I'm really happy about this uh, we are getting three points against Manchester City a very very strong team that could have could have just destroyed us but they didn't so we have taken their pride at their home ground and we have beaten them with four goals Christian Benteke one goal and he also got two assists Benteke is back on the map he is trying his best to just prove that the formation was just not fitting him and right now he has scored one goal two assists and also Daniel Sturridge one goal one assist 
our strikers are now getting better. The formation does fit them well, but I might think about the center defensive midfield position. Pereira did actually perform quite well for me, even though he's not really a center defensive midfield player, but we will see what happens on that one. You can see we have won another Capital One match against uh, Millwall, and this competition will be my reserves team competition. They will go through that one and they will try their best to get something done because the Capital One Cup doesn't really get you money, doesn't really get you anything. So I rather focus playing my youngsters or my reserves players on that one. We have now moved up to the eighth spot in the league and it was time to play against West Bromwich Albion at home. And this game was coming at the right time. After playing against a big team, with uh, players like Benteke and Storage performing really well, I was thinking against West Bromwich Albion we could perform even better. Kolo Plyanka is making his comeback into the starting lineup. He did have a chance straight off the bat, and we are now moving on into an attack of our opponents. Morrison with the pass to Berahino. Berahino with the cross back inside. He does get the ball again, and there's a big shot coming in. The defense is clearing it. Maximovic is getting to it, but there is a counter attacking chance for. Sturridge now on the ball looking for Benteke he does find him Benteke does try to get past everyone pass it back to Sturridge Sturridge over to the right hand side he does have the chance to take a shot but that sadly doesn't go in but we are now getting used to the counter attacking in this game that is really important but more than that Christian Benteke is scoring again and it is another header the crosses are finally working in this game I don't know if that has to do with the patch but before the patch I couldn't score headers for shit like I couldn't score headers to save my life but right now I am able to do so and Christian Benteke could score another one right here but what a save from the goalkeeper Foster doing a great job on that one and we do get a corner kick but let's move into the next highlight of this match Markovic on the ball getting past one player with nice dribbling passing it to Sturridge Sturridge with the long shot but that one was just not high enough could have taken the shot into the top right corner but instead he decided to take it into the bottom corner Kolo Plyanka with the cross could this be another header goal no another incredible save by Foster good job man that that was really hard to save I don't know how he did that but Benteke with the interception passing it to Sturridge Sturridge does cut inside could have or should have passed it over to Benteke but I didn't and that does hit the post so Sturridge currently taking a lot of shots with his weak foot and they are really dangerous could have scored a very similar goal to the one that he scored in the last match but now it is Klein on the ball he is looking for Benteke Benteke with the pass to Coutinho Coutinho with the one touch pass to Markovic he's through and he will score it Markovic is on top form right now the 79 rated right midfielder gets into the perfect position to score the goal and what a goal that is take a look at the replay perfect passing play and what a run that was from Markovic but that finish is a finish of a striker that was just incredible and our team is again as you could see our attack starts off with good defending now Sturridge could score his goal right here 80th minute he's looking for Christian Benteke actually but he does hit the post so we have hit in the post twice in this match and that sucks but we were still trying to get that third goal in Coutinho looking for Sturridge again he deserved to score a goal in this match he does hit the post again but Kono Plyanka picks it up and makes it 3-0 for our team unlucky for Sturridge but boys that is a great match and we are getting again three points with a great victory three goals again man our team with this formation is performing really well but I don't want to hype it up too much because I know that my team could be doing really badly against a team that does have a lot of midfielders a lot of central midfielders attacking because I do only have one center defensive midfielder who does help the defense so that could be a big problem in the future but currently the counter attacking is working really well our defense has done a great job in defending and then starting off counter attacks in the next episode 
I will have to play against Fenerbahce. That is my team and I'm looking forward to play against them. But what a performance from Markovic in this episode. I seriously have to say I was so surprised about how good he was in this one. He's currently 79 rated, only 22 years old and he does feel like Konoplyanka should be feeling. Like Konoplyanka was the biggest signing in the last season and I have to say I am really underwhelmed by his performances. But right now Liverpool moving up to the seventh spot and with the next games we could actually move up into the top five again that would be perfect Sunderland what are you doing there in the top three man that just makes no sense but guys thank you so much for watching and now enjoy the player of the episode Lazar Markovic